So the next question that I have is for uh, uh, is for Mr. Chopra. So you handle multiple products. Uh, Ravi was uh, kind enough to mention uh, the absolute uh, range of products that you handle. Uh, you mentioned something about the uh, policy. We obviously like to know the policy, but uh, I think it will not be uh, right to start uh, to ask at this forum. Could you just give us some guiding principles to the policy formulation that you do in specific to sugar? <clears throat> well, the guiding principles are quite uh, self-evident. Uh, so the numbers, I think we just discussed that India has uh, about the consumption is about roughly 280 uh, or 228 million tons of uh, consumption is what we have in the country of sugar. So in terms of the guiding principles, whatever numbers we see, the first priority for, priority for the government is to ensure that we have sufficient uh, sugar available in the country for consumption, which as I said is 28 million tons. Uh, over and above, we usually maintain a closing balance at the end of the sugar, sugar year of two and a half to three months of our requirement. So that's roughly about uh, six to seven million tons is what we retain as a closing stock before the uh, uh, next season begins. And uh, whatever balance is available, then of course, ethanol blending program is a priority for the government. So balance goes into the ethanol blending program. And as has been mentioned by, uh, by the Chairman Isma, that the government is also giving a large push uh, to the uh, grain-based ethanol. So as the time progresses, we will see how much of sugar will get diverted to uh, ethanol. And whatever balance is available would, of course, be available for the export purposes. 